Hey there, Citizen Paller here, and welcome back. It's time for another tutorial guide, and today we're going to be going over the Crime Stats system for new players, letting you know what it is, how it basically works, uh, and how to reset it. Probably most important for a lot of you guys. Uh, I felt that the uh, the Cutlass here was a good uh, a good demo ship for this, not particularly because it's any good, but it does seem like that pirate. Uh, bad guy, wanted level type ship. So yeah, we're, we're going to be taking the Cutlass out uh, for that. Let's go ahead and let's get right into it. <clears throat> so, the crime stat. Right now we're starting off with none at all uh, to show what we lose when we get the crime stat and then how to get rid of the crime stat uh, later on. But for new players, what's going to happen is at some point you're going to be flying around Port Olisar and you're going to crash into a ship or you might intentionally attack them or you might even just find yourself trying to remember how to land, uh, land over a landing pad that you have not requested access to uh, and you can actually get a crime stat from that. And the crime stat system works pseudo like that of Grand Theft Auto or anything else where there's different wanted levels. So it goes from basically zero to five. So there's six, six levels of wanted. There's no wanted at all. One pip, two pip, three pip, four pip, five pips. And you'll see these pips once we start actually building a crime site here uh, in a little bit. Uh, and it depends on what you do, how many pips you get. Uh, for the most part, like hovering over an unclaimed landing pad or whatever is one pip. If you happen to fly and crash into someone and do moderate amount of damage to their ship where you actually get through the shields, that's generally going to create two pips. If you kill a player who's not in a ship, I think that's three pips. If you kill a player in their ship, I think that's four pips. Uh, and then if you go ahead and kill multiple things or put whatever them together, you can eventually get up to five pips. Now, unlike Grand Theft Auto or something like that, there's no automated response force that's going to come after you. There's no Crusader security that's going to start hunting you down uh, throughout the space, the, the system. Two things happen. Well, multiple things happen, but uh, the two big ones are... One, you lose access to certain contracts. So if we press F1 here, we open this up, come into our contract manager right now because we don't have any wanted level. You can see here, I actually have a fairly in-depth roster of manager contracts I could pick up uh, and do. And we actually wanna go ahead, we're gonna accept this one here in a moment as long as it doesn't get picked up. Uh, we also have some under the personal. But you can see we just have a lot of contracts. So the first thing that'll happen is once you get to, generally it's two pips, um, you're going to lose most of these contracts. The single pip, having just one pip on your wanted level, that's more or less a warning. It doesn't really affect the gameplay at all, other than it sets you up that if you hover over a landing pad incorrectly or run into a ship or whatever, you're going to be jumping to three or four pips very quickly uh, having that. So one pip's not really a big deal. Once you hit two pips, your contract level is going to go ahead and you're going to lose some contracts uh, pretty quickly. The other thing that's going to happen is when you finally do get all the way up to five pips, then bounties are issued for you. In fact, we have one right here, uh, Jard18. You can see this bounty here. This is actually a player, JR Jard18 uh, for 5,600 UEC. So this is a player out there with five pips worth of wanted level. So this is being issued to other players to go hunt him down because there's no, like we said, no Crusader security that can really chase them down or anything like that. So that's the main stuff that happens within the pips. Uh, you'll also, once you hit two, you'll no longer respawn at Port Olisar. You'll instead you'll be spawning at Grim Hex. Uh, that's just because Grim Hex is like a lawless area. There's another aspect to the bounties or to the, the wanted level though, the crime side level that you need to understand. And that's the comm relays. So you see up here in the upper right hand corner right now, we have this satellite icon. This is saying that we are within range of a comm satellite. So any actions we take against another player or quote unquote friendly AI is going to be considered hostile and discovered. Uh, so if we open up the star map here and we zoom out, we're actually up here at Yella. I was out here just doing a bounty mission. But Yella is being covered by this comm array right here, ST247. Uh, so this comm array is going to be covering basically out to Yella, and it covers in and just kind of clips Port Olisar. Comm array over here is covering Daymar, covers in, clips the other side of Port Olisar. Uh, then you have one down here and another one over here. So the comm arrays cover most of the space area around uh, Crusader. And if we zoom out and then we jump over to uh, Hurston, 
Over here, there's similar Kamarae set up. Uh, I think Magda out here might be outside of this Kamarae. That one's far enough out. Likewise, Ida. Uh, so not everything is covered. We could also come back over here. And if we would jump out to Delamar, Delamar is also not within a Kamarae range. There's no Kamarae uh, out here around Delamar. There's also no Comrades around most of the R&R &R stations that are at the Lagrange points, so CRUL1. Um, none of these really have Comrades around them either. What this means is if there's no satellite icon up here and you attack a player, well, that player will obviously know they're attacked. There's currently no reporting system. There's no way for them to call up the police and say, hey, I was uh, assaulted by X player, uh, put a wanted level out on them. Nothing actually happens. You have to be within one of these ra rays uh, in order for it to be picked up in order for it to be noted. So there are blind spots within the coverage that you can actually, you know, use, utilize to your advantage if you're looking to gank players and not gain a crime stat. For the most part, people don't really care about having a crime stat. They're, they're looking for that PvP, but that is something you can do. In fact, I'm almost positive in early versions of the game, you could actually deactivate the satellites. I want to say in like 3.1, you could fly out and one of the common Gameplay loops was basically players would go out, they would deactivate one of the comma rays, uh, and then a mission would be generated for people to come and reactivate them. Uh, and then there would be PvP around that. And that's what we were looking at right here. Oh, we come back in here, the maintenance comma ray ST92. So we're actually going to accept that. I'll show you how to reactivate it, uh, and then we'll go from there. Uh, so we'll do that. ST92, where is ST92? Oh, don't tell me it's all the way over in Hurston. Ah, it's all the way over in Hurston. Um, really, that, that doesn't say ST92. That says ST113. Didn't that say ST92? ST1-92. ST1-13. ST1-61, 1-48, 1-92 is this one. Not that one. That's a little, little strange. All right, looks like we're doing some quantum travel. Uh, cut here. All right, thanks to the magic of time travel here, we'll go ahead and let's see. So is this, which one does this think it is? Why can't I, come on. My quantum engine's not spooling up now. Oh boy. There we go. Okay, we're going to see if it's... Which one's right? Is the star map right? Same this one in the waypoint, or is it actually ST191-92? Uh, we'll jump out here. We'll know right away once we arrive. Basically, the satellite icon, the uplink icon in the upper right-hand corner is going to go away if this comlink is down. Comlink lost. So it does look like it's probably this one, and the text is wrong. Uh, we'll see if we can actually get in here and re-enable it. Uh, so something to keep in mind, if someone has a wanted level or whatever, like if you're a player on the lawful side or whatever, then you're not trying to do that. In general, a player that shows up as orange or any target at all that shows up as orange, those are targets you can engage with impunity. Now, I have to say in general, because it really depends on the ship. Um, so your Cutlass, your Anvil, not your Cutlass, but your Drake ships, your Anvil ships. Uh, most of your ships have like a green hood, like we're looking at right here. Um, and then hostiles will turn up as orange. But some ships, primarily your alien ships, but also your misc ships. So your alien ships have like a red hood. Uh, your misc ships then have like a blue hood. So certain ships have different colors. I'm not entirely sure if those are orange too. I don't remember paying attention. Uh, but that is something to keep in mind. Like uh, if you see a ship flying around Port Olisar and everybody else is green but he's orange or whatever, uh, that orange person has a bounty on him. Now they might not be high enough. They might not be up to five pips where... Uh, where there's an actual like mission bounty issued for them but they are wanted on the crime stat and if you attack them you yourself will not get a crime stat for doing so at least you won't in general 
there's always some weird, you know, this is alpha buggy and all of that. Uh, so there have been some weird circumstances where I've been killed by another player and I ended up with a crime stat. So I don't know how that always works. Sometimes it gets a little weird. Uh, your entry point for this stuff, there's one on either side, uh, but it's basically up by where the cross arms are for the solar relays, uh, where these four lights are. And there's one exact opposite of us uh, that matches up. And we got to fly up through here. And down at the bottom then, when we come through, there should be a computer terminal. There it is. And you'll see uplink offline. Come in here and we can interact with it. Pass key accepted. And then we want to activate. There we go. So that's coming up. We'll then get mission complete here. At least we should. Uh, and in a moment here, we should receive that icon in the upper right hand corner saying we are back in a comic. Now, obviously we wouldn't want to do this if we're trying to be a pirate. I'm just showing you how it works. And I swear before you used to be able to going back, you used to be able to uh, deactivate them. Now, what might be happening there, though, is there might be a mission that will come along uh, where if you have enough of a negative crime staff for long enough, you'll get personal missions uh, for them sending you out asking you to go out and disable the, uh, the satellites and they will give you the password. Right now, if we would just go back inside here and try to deactivate the comlink, we don't have the quote unquote password for it, so we can't actually deactivate it. Uh, so that is how they get deactivated over time. I think it's player generated, though they do seem to also randomly get deactivated in order to generate these missions. Uh, but you do get those, those blind zones because of that. And if you're at one of the zones without it, you don't actually have to worry about attacking players or whatever. You can get away without much of a problem. Okay, so that's the good guy side of things. Now it's time to go get a crime stat and then show you how to get rid of your crime stat uh, once you have it. And the easiest way to do this, well, would be flying back to Port Olisar and attacking someone. But the other way is, generally speaking, active comrades like this one here, usually have friendly crusader forces around them. Uh, this one, since we just turned it back on, doesn't appear to have any. Let's do a quick scan. No, this one does not seem to have any, which is to be expected. They haven't spawned in yet because we just turned it back on. Uh, but if we jump over to, say, this comrade, if this one's active, which it should be, uh, we can then, there should be some Crusader forces around that. Unfortunately, none of this worked the way I wanted it to coming up here in the next part. So some post commentary coming in with edited together footage. Uh, essentially, the comrades I was jumping to, I couldn't find the targets I was looking for. So I ended up trying to fight some players. Turns out he was in with a group of several others. A uh, bunch of PvP happened, but mainly, un mostly unusable footage. Uh, so we're now using some other footage, and I'm just going to voice talk over this uh, as we put it all together. But basically... If you attack someone that is generally quote unquote green, good. No bounty, no crime stat, uh, no no reason to attack them, and you do so within a common relay range, you're gonna get a certain amount of pips. And once you have these pips, um, then you wanna get rid of them, or you might not want to, but if you wanna go back and visit Port Olisar without the station's automated defenses attacking you, any of the R&R &R shops, pretty much anything but Levski and Grim Hex. Uh, any of the other places you want to visit, and, and the moon bases, I should actually say, like the random outposts down on moons and stuff, they don't have automated defenses that are going to attack you. Uh, but if you want to visit Port Olisar, uh, Lorville, or... Uh any of the other r and or whatever for trade and stuff, or if you want to get access to a lot more of those missions, you're going to have to get rid of your crime stat, your wanted level, at some point. To do this, there's only one place to do it in the game, and this is where this whole thing gets exciting, interesting, and can also be frustrating sometimes. Uh, that is Security Outpost Korea, located in orbit around the moon of Selen, which is in orbit around Crusader. Uh, so it's generally on the bottom left, depending on your orientation, if Port Olisar is at 12 o'clock, uh, like 7 o'clock position is going to be where Selen is, and then Korea actually orbits around that, so sometimes you have to do multiple jumps. Uh, so you're going to want to go ahead and travel out here to Korea. Now, the reason this gets interesting is because it's the only place to reset your crime stat. Uh, that means 
people going to reset their crimes that people with that are already heading there but also other players go there in order to prevent them from doing it just looking for pvp and all of that uh, so if you're just trying to get in reset your crime stat and get on with your day and everything it can be a bit of a headache it really depends on the server since 3.4 and even 3.3 um well, more 3.35. Uh, since that has happened and the map has opened up significantly, uh, people have spread out a lot more without increasing player counts, uh, it's a little bit easier to come and go from there. But up until 3.3, uh, it was not uncommon that it was very difficult to do this. You'd have to get together with a group of three or four people uh, or bribe your way in in order to get in, in order to get through. Because once you're bunkered down inside Korea, it's hard to... Uh, get them out of there as they're you're at a severe disadvantage as you're coming through the airlock uh, But you're gonna have to fly out to Korea uh, Take a ship that you're willing to lose. I would say At least 50% of the time I go to do this my ship gets shot off the landing pad People just see a ship sitting there and they'll destroy it even if you're not flagged at that point uh, They just go ahead and destroy it anyway uh, so take a ship that you're willing to lose and you can insurance claim back so don't have like a whole bunch of extra weapons on it and everything that you can't or you'd have to go pay money to re and uh re reacquire um but fly out to korea go ahead and land uh once you land then you're going to be heading inside to the central room uh keep in mind there could be players around so you have to clear it and everything there also can be the ai that spawn in there um once you've gotten into the central room you can activate the terminal and the terminal is going to go ahead and it's going to remove a certain amount of pips. And this part here seems a little clunky. Um, there is built within, the more your wanted level, the higher number of pips you have, the longer it takes. To go from 5 pips to 4 pips takes quite a long time, about 5 minutes. Uh, from 4 pips to 3 pips seems to take about 3 minutes. And then it gets progressively faster as you go down. But I've also seen we're going from 3 pips, activating the terminal just once will go ahead and take you from three down to one. So it removes two pips in one go without deactivating. It gets a little convoluted in there. Um, but yeah, you go in, you activate the terminal, and then you can leave. Like once the terminal is activated, you can leave. Now if another player comes along and deactivates it before it finishes, like say it takes the full five minutes or whatever, uh, you won't remove it. But as long as no one comes on and deactivates the terminal, you'll lose generally one pip. Um, so if you have your full five and you want to get down to zero or maybe just one pip the warning level uh, You're gonna have to activate it four or five times though. It will get increasingly faster as you go So you activate it you wait around five minutes. Okay, you lose one pip you activate it You wait around three minutes you lose another pip you activate it you wait around you lose maybe one pip or two pips depending on like it gets weird uh, and then you'll be down to just that single pip left or no pips left, uh, at which point all of the friendly missions and all of that uh, should come back. Uh, and then you can leave again and you're, you're back to being green. Uh, so that's currently how you reset it. Uh, that's pretty much the way the system works or the way the system's intended to work. There, like I said, it's alpha. So I've had issues where I will log out, log in spawn at grim hex which is telling me i have a crime stat though the crime stat icon isn't in my upper right hand corner like okay uh so you fly over to korea you activate the terminal and after like five minutes all of a sudden you're down to three pips so it was like well did i have four pips did i have no pips what happened i don't know so there, there's sometimes it gets weird uh like that like the the icon just doesn't show up in the upper right hand corner of the screen for some reason uh and unfortunately the more in-depth information so if you have your moby glass open on the main screen there's actually a section right in the middle that says crime stat and it seems like there's supposed to be some more info there like telling you where and for how much like because a crime stat at hurston in general, at least in the long term, isn't going to also be a crime stat at Crusader. It may be. Uh, you know, they might share that information and if you wanted. But say you are, say Crusader, the Crusader Industries, sends you over to um, Hurston Dynamics, whatever's going to be the, the cloud city for around Hurston Dynamics, to do some espionage right they want you to do some industrial espionage uh so that would could give you a wanted level a crime stat around hurston with hurston security but if you're around crusader you might not have that so they're not going to always one-to-one -one translate but we're talking probably more than a year away before that system comes online uh so for now it's just really kind of you are you're either wanted or you're not wanted if you're wanted by more than two pips or more 
uh, space stations will shoot at you as you approach them, and you're going to be spawning at places like Grim Hex rather than Port Olisar or Lorville. Uh, and I think that pretty much covers it. Um, yeah, there are some also missions, and we'll get into this a little bit more as I do when I do the mission guide. Uh, there are certain missions that are available to people with negative bounties, or bounties in general, or wanted levels, that are not available to neutral people, just like there are neutral missions that are not available to people with wanted levels. Uh, however, you don't have to really worry about missing out. They just tend to be two sides of the two sides of the coin of the same bounty. So, like one will have you go out and for Crusader Industries destroy um, skimmer satellites, basically little uh, comm pickups. Now you're doing it for Crusader Industries, so you're technically destroying ones that were placed there by pirates and then there's a pirate one where they have you go out and you're destroying ones placed by crusader securities so it's the same mission just with slightly different flavor text on top of it uh, so that's kind of where that mixes out the trade missions those do to seem to be pretty much just on good uh companies aren't going to be hiring pirates really to run trade at least not right now maybe there will be a black market with some pirate trade later on uh, but for now the the trade missions the delivery the courier missions seem to be only neutral no bounty no wanted level at all um yeah if i missed anything or if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below until next time this has been Paller. thanks for watching